Welcome back. So I got three pieces of mail and one was a pretty good sized lot I got on Facebook. Uh, the other two were individual cards I picked up on eBay. Um, two definitely PC items. The other one is kind of the side project PC you've seen me work on here and there when good deals come up. Um, which is also what I'm going to start with. And that is the Paul... Paul Goldschmidt cards right on top. It's a decent size lot. Um, and it, it was, I think, priced right for a good deal. It's a $60 lot, which is more than I generally spend on the side projects. But once you see what's in here, I think you'll understand why it was a good deal. So we'll start kind of with the least impressive to the most so starting off you just have a base tops tribute from 2020 not number not a parallel or anything like that just a base card and moving on you have the gypsy queen chrome from the box topper pack you have a 2014 tops chrome refractor From this year's, or sorry, from 2020 Museum Collection. You got the Canvas Goldie. From Tops of Some Year. This is 2016 Tops, Series 1. A little pro de or debut medallion manufactured card. Now let's get into the good ones. Those are decent. You know, nice little parallels. So you have this year's Immaculate. A little bat piece there, number 99. And then you have 2010. His rookie card is 2011 Tops Update. Your 2010 Bowman Platinum Auto. Base Auto, the Refractor Auto. Not numbered though. And then a card I really don't see a ton of. This is the Diamond. This is the Diamond Anniversary Parallel. From 2011 Tops Update, Paul Goldschmidt Rookie. Kind of an expensive set, so you're not, no one's going to be hunting for this particular card. But these don't come up too often, so I saw it as part of a lot. And basically, it's these two cards for the vast majority of the lot. With everything else. 60 seemed quite fair to me. 2010 pre rookie auto, refractor auto, and then the rookie card parallel out of 11 update. So that was the Goldschmidt lot. Now let's get into some Hank Greenberg. This is a dual back card. Commemorating his 63 doubles in 1934, numbered 1 of 5, from 2017 National Treasures. And yes, I'll be taking it out, probably putting it in one touch, or at least putting a sleeve around it, but this is how it showed up. So, number 1 out of 5, Hank Greenberg was happy to finally make a deal on this one with the seller. And this card is familiar. You've seen it before, well, not this exact one, but you've seen one of the other ones. This is the blue parallel number three of three. Bat Relic Booklet for Hank Greenberg out of this year, or 2020 National Treasures. So now I have number one, I have number three, just missing number two, and I'll have the trifecta for this particular card 
So, again, you have two PC editions. Pretty clear cut there. And a very, very nice lot of Goldschmidt cards. With those two being the primary. And you know, a few other cards that were thrown in as part of the deal. So, that's what I got for you in the mail this time around. Until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.